What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So the Detroit Pistons continue making history in the wrong way. So Detroit, going into last night's game against the Utah Jazz, the Detroit Pistons at home had lost 24 consecutive games. They were sitting at 2 and 25 on the year. At one point, early, 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 early in this season, the Pistons were 2 and 1. 2 and 1. But they had lost 24 consecutive games going into last night. Now, last night was probably the best opportunity for the Detroit Pistons to get a victory this season outside the games that they won, which were back in October. Considering that Utah had, I don't know what, four or five players out? Maybe more? But somehow, somewhere, the Utah Jazz, depleted as they were, were able to win this game 119 to 111. The Pistons fall to 2 and 26 on the year 2 and 26 on the year and um, they've now lost 25 games in a row and that's one shy of the NBA record for longest losing streak within the same season in NBA history the longest consecutive losing streak, which would involve uh, two seasons, is 28 games. Both are held by the Philadelphia 76ers. But just to get an idea about how horrible they are, let's see if I can look at this roster. The Pistons right now are scoring 109 points a game, which is 28th in the NBA. Now, I remember last year, the Heat were dead last in scoring in the NBA 108 points a game. But the difference between the Heat and the Pistons, aside from the fact that they have some wily uh, KG veterans, and from, aside from the fact that they have the, the Heat have Jimmy Butler, and the Detroit Pistons don't, the Heat were a really, really good defensive team. I mean, it's embedded in the culture. The Heat uh, may not have had the most talented players, but they were, um, as a unit, when everybody played their role, when everybody did their part to the best of their abilities, the Miami Heat were a very formidable team. The Detroit Pistons lacked that completely. And they are not a good defensive team. Matter of fact, they give up 120.7 points per game, 25th in the NBA. Defensive rating, they're 26th in the NBA. They suck. So you look at the fact that they can't score in today's climate versus most other teams, and then defensively they suck, well, that's how you end up losing by an average margin of almost 12 points a game. I mean, they're horrible. Crowd yelling, sell the team, sell the team. I mean, it's real. It's, it gets bad, man, when you look at the fact that they've regressed from last year. And last year they went 17 and 65. So I'm looking at it like, you know, with the Detroit Pistons, there's going to be a complete uh, overhaul of this team. It's going to be like a fire. It's going to be like a, 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 it's going to be like a yard sale when it comes to the roster players before the uh, trade deadline is over this year. And, um, you know, at this point, man, I guess the Detroit Pistons and Monty Williams, they just got to look at avoiding 
setting that dubious record, which I don't think is going to happen because they got to play the. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, the uh, LB. They play Boston next, and that's almost assuredly an L. So they're more than likely going to set the. They're going to tie the record at the very least. Um, I know some people say, look. The Bobcats had a record for fewest wins in the season. But the thing about that is, the Bobcats played in a 66-game season. This is an 82-game season. The record for fewest losses in an 82-game season is nine. So to me, if, if they win less than nine games, that's the new record for me. Now, ultimately, I think Detroit's going to win some games. Where they're going to end up at, I have no idea. But I just can't see this team being in single digits for 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 victories the entire season. I just can't see that, man. I can't see that happening. I mean, there's no way they can be this goddamn bad. And when you, when you look at how a lot of these teams in today's NBA often play to the level of their competition, you would think... The Detroit will have more victories than what they do, but they don't. So that's all I got to say about this, man. Tell me what you guys think.